Greetings and welcome to Saka Industry News, the twice-monthly email-based publication that keeps you informed and educated about recent news and tech topics from inside the sake industry in Japan. In each video, we present a topic or so from a past newsletter, and be sure to stick around for the end, where we provide you with a link for a discount when you subscribe to Saka Industry News. October 1st is known as Nihonshu no Hi, or Sake Day. Why is that? Why October 1st and not one of 364 other perfectly good days during the year? And here we give you the answer to that. Let's dive right in. Why is October 1st Sake Day? October 1st of each year is officially designated as Nihonshu no Hi, or Sake Day. But why October 1st? Why not April 1st, or May 20th, or any one of another 364 valid days? There are, not surprisingly, several reasons. For example, sake brewing begins just about October 1 every year, as that is just after rice harvesting wraps up and the temperature starts to drop. Both are essential factors in brewing sake. However, the biggest reason is related to the written character for sake. Long ago, it consisted of only the right half of its current form. In other words, the original form of the character for sake did not include the three short lines on the left side, which, by the way, represent water, or at least liquid. Rather, the original character for sake consisted only of the part that was made to look like a jar, indicating something holding liquid, which was of course an alcoholic beverage of some sort in the mind of those looking at the character. Enter the Chinese Zodiac, 12 animal signs that are historically used to number years in the traditionally accepted sequence. Long ago, by the way, it was also used to count two-hour periods in each 24-hour day. The tenth of these in the prescribed order is tori, or chicken, or perhaps rooster, or cock. However, the written character assigned to each of these animals as used in the zodiac is not the standard character used when referring to the animals in normal writing, but rather a special character in reading used only in these traditional Chinese zodiac instances. So, the chicken in the barnyard and the chicken that represent the tenth year in the zodiacal cycle are written using different characters. Also, an alternate reading of this character is to, which is a homonym for ten, a point that is of course tied into the association of this particular character to the tenth hour, month, and year in a cycle. So, by fortuitous coincidence, the tenth year, hour, and month, in other words October, are represented in the ancient Chinese zodiac system, also embraced by Japan, by a version, or a reasonably facsimile, of the character for sake. And, Coincidentally, sake brewing begins in the fall, usually in October. And that is why the first day of the 10th month, October 1st, is known as Nihonshu no Hi, or Sake Day, in Japan. As with everything in the culture of sake, it's hardly random, yet hardly obvious. Therein lies its appeal. If you enjoyed today's story, be sure to subscribe to Sake Industry News. And twice a month, you'll receive fresh news from the sake industry in Japan, and one technical, historical, or cultural anecdote as well. Go to the URL shown here to subscribe. Only $100 a year for two issues a month, or $10 a month if you prefer to go that route. And both options give you access to all back issues. Still not sure? You've got nothing to lose because your first two issues are free, and you can cancel after them with no charge whatsoever. Also, you can use the link shown here and in the notes below for a 20% discount for your entire first year. Sake Industry News. No more, appreciate more.